eyes have been on Lana Del Rey since her big break in 2011. But have you ever wondered about her look? Has the superstar ever had plastic surgery? Make sure to watch till the end of this video to find out about Lana Del Rey's incredible beauty transformation. In 1998, at the age of 13, Lana has a rounded hairline. She has arched eyebrows. When you look at her nose, there's slight bulbosity to the tip. She has well-defined filtral columns. She has limited lateral upper lip show, and this will be relevant later in the video. Lana has good upper and lower lip volume and a strong jaw structure. Fast forward to 2009 at the age of 24, and I'm seeing a slight dorsal hump on her nose. In 2010, at the age of 25, that hump is no longer there, at least from what I can tell. So this brings up the potential of a rhinoplasty procedure, where the hump was removed and the tip and the bridge appear more narrow and more defined. Remember that the best rhinoplasty surgery takes attention away from the nose so that you can focus on other features of the face, especially the eyes. In 2011, at the age of 26, Lana has excellent tooth show on Smile, and she has the full height of her teeth visible. In 2012, at the age of 27, I wanted to point out here the shape of her upper lip and the fact that the lateral elements are rolled in compared to the central compartment of her upper lip. Now, this does affect lip lift surgery because when patients come to me for lip lifts, they're asking for usually the entire upper lip to be lifted. But when you do bullhorn style lip lifts, it's usually the center that goes up, not so much the entire upper lip. So what happens is you can get a bit more arching that occurs in that upper lip. And the only way to truly roll out the lateral elements of the upper lip is to do a corner lip lift if you want a permanent solution or to do filler to augment that upper lip shape. And we'll talk about the use of filler in Lana's lips later on in this video, but I wanted to bring up that specific point because I get asked that all the time in my practice. In 2013, at the age of 28, Lana Del Rey has a rounded forehead, and this is important to distinguish from a high hairline because what some people have is just added curvature to their forehead. So it's not so much that they have a high hairline, but when you have a lot of rounding to the bone of your forehead, it sometimes appears that the hairline is higher than it actually is. In 2014, at the age of 29, what I'm seeing here is that she has a jawline that's less defined and her cheeks appear fuller. At this stage, it doesn't look to me like she's had a lot of filler, but maybe that there's some weight fluctuation. In 2015, at the age of 30, it looks to me like Lana may have started Botox around this time to the standard locations, the forehead, the glabella, and the crow's feet. As she smiles, there are very few lines that are visible in her upper face. And she may have also started lip filler around this time. When you look at that upper lateral red lip that I was speaking about earlier, you can see that it's now more filled in. And there's a protrusion to her upper lip from what I can tell. And you can see here that Lana Del Rey has an excellent skincare routine. And to find out more about great skincare and great hair care, head to feelconfident.com. In 2016, at the age of 31, I see no change. And in 2017, at the age of 32, also no signs of change. In 2018, at the age of 33, it looks to me like Lana Del Rey's weight continues to fluctuate and she may have lost weight around this time. I can see that increased definition in her cheekbones and in her jawline. In 2019, at the age of 34, I see no change. And same in 2020. In 2021, at the age of 36, I'm seeing a series of potential procedures. For one, I think that her eyebrows seem lifted. She also has what looks to be some signs of a facelift. For example, when you look at her sideburn hairs, they appear to be absent compared to how she looked, let's say, in 2019. As incisions are made for facelift surgery, usually there's a portion of the sideburn hair that gets removed, and that is one telltale sign of a facelift procedure. Also, some people experience some changes to their tragus, which is this structure right here. It's a um, part of the cartilage of the ear. And in Lana Del Rey's case, I'm not seeing any major changes with the tragus, but the sideburn hairs are really different. 
Also, I wonder if Lana Del Rey had a fat transfer to the face around this time. There's a, an added volume throughout the face that just appears like it was more than just HA filler. When you look at her temporal hollowing from the past compared to how she looks in 2021, you can see that even the temples appear more filled in. And that's a common area to address with especially a fat transfer where you're diffusely increasing the volume of the face and you're adding volume usually into the cheeks usually into areas like the marionette region, the jawline, different structures that may have lost some volume over time, but also into areas like the temples. And I think this is the year where she started to look quite different than what she looked like before. And this is when people, I think, started to notice that maybe something happened, something surgical, potentially. When people go in for a facelift procedure, especially in their 30s, oftentimes they're expecting the nasolabial folds to just get a little bit better, to get a little bit of tightening along their jawline. But in reality, when you reposition the entire cheek structure and the entire you know, neck structure, you do get changes to the overall configuration of the face. So that's something that people need to realize, especially when they're in their 30s. And more and more people are starting to get facelifts in their 30s and sometimes even in their 20s, and that's something we never saw before. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. In 2022, at the age of 37, you can see here now that the left sideburn also appears to be modified compared to prior. Previously, we had looked at the right side and the right sideburn, and now you can see on the left side, there's also this thinning to the sideburn hair. And whether or not that occurred just with natural aging or the results of a facelift, we'll never fully know. But that is one area where people can see change after a facelift surgery. In 2023, still at age 38, I'm seeing some signs of a potential lip lift surgery. When you look at the distance between the base of the nose and the center of the cupid's bow, it appears shorter to my eye compared to prior. And this is potentially because of a lip lift. Also, there's increased arching to her upper lip. And that is something that we also see with lip lift surgery. As I stated earlier in the video, as you do a lip lift, it's that central two thirds of the upper lip that's being lifted up. And that can create additional arching to the upper lip as it shortens the filtral distance. But given Lana Del Rey's potential prior filler, to the upper lateral lip and or filler that she may have received after, let's say, a lip lift surgery, that upper lip balances out quite nicely. The total cost of these potential procedures is $205,000. Since you like this video on Lana Del Rey, check out this video highlighting another celebrity transformation.